started off the ground has a lot of investment in it. So what should we do about it? All right. And then the second part, the TUC says that it is still giving government September 30 to declare a state of emergency or come up with a roadmap on the Galamse issues. And so what do we do about their current ultimatum? Because we know government has also brought in or announced an interministerial committee, the second within the administration of Nanado Nankweku Fuado and Dr. Mahmoud Dubari. Let me just introduce to you Laura Tusaka is uh, one of the Musa leading... Saka. Laura to... Musa Saka. Okay. Laura to Musa Saka is one of the leading spokespeople uh, for the DMB It Is Possible 2024 <laughs> campaign. And Deputy CEO. Uh, Deputy CEO of Postal Authority, Authority, the Ghana Postal Authority. There's Very nothing like Ghana Postal Authority. Authority. Commission. Papa Ro, there's nothing okay. like Ghana Please, Postal Authority. what is it? Authority. Commission. It's the Postal and Courier Services Regulatory Commission yes. okay. that regulates the postal it's okay. sector. It's a big post sector. Sector. Thank you very much. Uh, a very distinguished, intelligent woman, I have yeah. to say. And uh, thank you for joining us, Laura, too. Thank you for having me. All right. Let me also introduce to you Rodalin Nayana. And it's with um, the Great Alliance so far. The Alliance for Revolutionary Change. Alliance for Revolutionary, Revolutionary Change. Change. Of which the for, um, Movement for Change is part. part. All right. And then Louisa Kwachi has become a regular on the channel. Good morning to you, Louisa. Good morning. Great. And then also um, a woman who occupied the position um, within the PRC. My first time I met her, I served a number of administrations. And currently is. Um, the chief executive for Coseca, and uh, we have her here as well. Good morning to you. Good morning, my dear. All right. The National Cathedral Project. We'll do a number of recall. You would also find that apparently we have the Ministry of Finance addressing Parliament on the amount so far spent. But we'll start with the president and do a recall why he's insisting the project has to be done. And then we'll come to the chief executive or the National Cathedral Secretariat. And then we have the finance minister deputy, that's um, Abna Asari. This, this cathedral is a game changer for our country. Um, it, it, it's really beyond the fact that it introduces this needed infrastructure, allows us almost to put God at the center of our national life. It also provides an opportunity to really open up, in fact, almost uh, transform our tourist industry and really to begin uh, to turn Ghana into religious hope through which we can then uh, begin these whole issues that we care about, uh, job creation uh, and all that. And following that, We'll do a recall of the Deputy Finance Minister. And then another insert that is telling you the current state, because it was used uh, as a pool by demonstrators just about two days ago. Quite incidental. For money audits um, done on the project in 2021 by Casey Doyumu Group. Also, a statutory audit of the National Cathedral of Ghana accounts by Deloitte Ghana was started in July 2023 and is ongoing. The auditors had concluded the audit of the 18 months account and the 31st December 2020. Meanwhile, preparations are in place for the auditors to complete the remaining accounts for the periods ended 31st December 2021, 2022 and 2023. I remember that from the onset, from the onset, the, min the Ministry of Finance um, mentioned that our contribution to the National Cathedral will be um, the land and some seed money. And this was in the budget, uh, previous year's budget. I can't state exactly. You see, we didn't listen. Well, so the demonstrator decided to invade the Secretariat, the ground of the project itself, and they decided to swim in a pool of water. But that brought to the fore the question, what should we do with this project? Just take an insert and then we'll come and ask.
Cathedral. Lorato, what are we going to do with the, pro the project? What's, what's the direction now from government? Uh, from uh, good morning, good morning to everyone, good morning to our viewers. Good morning, Lorato. Um, good morning, Paparo. Um, I'm just wondering why we have to spend this morning speaking about uh, people deciding to swim in the pool when they actually said they were demonstrating for reforms at the EC. But be as it may, I mean, this has been a conversation that has gone on since, I think, 2018, should I even say 2017. And it helps to go back to how this all started. I mean, when you look at the setup of the board of trustees of the <clears throat> National Cathedral, it's made up of revered men and uh, men of God and women of God. If I'm wrong, <clears throat> Uh, all of you. I, I want to believe the four of you are all Christians. You are not. Oh, okay. So three of you are. So if I'm wrong, just uh, uh, correct me. I don't think that uh, if the Christian community in this country didn't identify with the need for an interdenominational uh, worship ground, for, because it, it had been a conversation that had been going. He asked it me, His Excellency, the President, made um, a promise that he was going to um, build a cathedral with that nature of something that um, the, the Christian made community, a to who? of course, to the nation, who was he talking to? So he made that promise. But what was it? I remember in the 2019 budget, it was stated that government was going to give land and give seed money. But every other thing will be private sector and investment and other people. So where we've got into, I also want to believe that if we hadn't gotten into the challenges we are, I doubt this would have become a conversation. But whichever way, what's the way forward? When you look at the, I've maintained on this set before that the edifice at Kanda, the Ghana National Mosque, I would love to see it around um, the country at the regional levels too. But in that same principle, I don't think that building a place of interdenominational service for the Christian community is something out of place. I think it's something that you because We have a lot of individual places and all that. Church, churches have done a lot. And when you even look at our nation's setup officially, we are secular uh, country, but we have majority being Christians. I think from the last uh, census of 2021, we had some 71%, 71.3% Christian population. So I think that if it's something that uh, the Christian leadership has accepted, and we all agree that it must be pursued. I mean, it's come with its own controversies and all that. I remember in the 2024 budget, some money was allocated to and ended up going to communication and I think health or education. So where are we now? Does the Christian community accept that they need such a place? Can we all come together? Because I remember even because of his uh, acceptance, the chief imam donated to it. He also came with his own issues. But is this something that we all think, in principle, we need. My sisters here can also help me with that. But when you look at the people who are accepted to lead this, these are people who lead Christendom in this country. Was the principle wrong? Ir irrespective of the challenges, is this something that is relevant? We may have issues with the approach. We may have issues with the site, but the principle of getting... Right, so you haven't answered my question. What, what, uh, what do we I'm intend Bill, um, with the current state? What do we intend to do with the National Cathedral Project? From what I gather now, 
a team led by uh, Dr. Joyce Ayi is engaging investors to come in and help. I mean, I think it's the same approach that was used for the National Mosque. It was the Turkish government that came in. Don't forget that that land that uh, the National Mosque, Mosque sits now was given to Chief Imam by former President Rollins in 1995 when a mosque at where Rollins Park was built was demolished. That project went on for about 10 years until the, some concerned uh, Muslim youth came in, started engaging people, and today we have the edifice we have there. But so it's something that can be done if the Christian community, led by its leaders and private sector, come. And that is why Dr. that is what Dr. Baumia reiterated when he met the clergy. He thinks that it must be a partnership between private sector and Christian dom in this country to make sure that that edifice becomes a reality. So that is where what we are. We, now. How much were we supposed to initially invest in then? Ghana was supposed to give seed money and land. Okay. Was the I seed money supposed to be again. $58 million? I have no idea okay. about that. You need to check with the secretary. But what I know in the 2019 budget was that government was going to give land mm. and some seed capital. Then it will be the board of trustees will go out. I remember they even went to, I think, some churches to advocate for people donating and all that. And even when you go to the website, there's a bold donate uh, icon on the website for anyone who is interested. That's how come different other leaders of other uh, religions donated to it. Okay. So I don't, I don't Madam see. Maybe Rodale, I, can, I can be educated Ayana. better on it. Uh, knowing that we've invested $58 million, and apart from that, tracts of land, what should then we do about it? <laughs> Because clearly, uh, as they were saying in, in local parlance, Yensakum. Good morning, Ghana. Um, good morning to you. Good morning to all our viewers. I'm saying good morning to Mr. Alan Shramating, um, wherever you are, and all members of the Alliance for Revolutionary Change. Um, at least one thing that has come out of this um, cathedral is that we are going to have a, a national swimming team for the next Olympics, that's not in doubt. Um, 58 million for a swimming pool. Mm. If it's not ridiculous, then there's something else. Yes, that's what, how much we paid. We've paid for a swimming pool, 58 million dollars, which could have given us so many school buildings instead of having the uh, traffic lights that we had. We could have had lots of uh, senior high schools built out of that. But I've just held an, heard another version of the cathedral, the whole Which concept. Is? Um, what I know as a Ghanaian is that this was a personal promise to God for someone who had tried oftentimes to become president and didn't get the opportunity and therefore made this pledge to God that he would build him a cathedral. So I expected that this cathedral was going to come out of the pockets or they had, um, he might have made some arrangements to get funding for this cathedral. I don't remember Nanado coming in to tell us that he was going to build a cathedral in the manifesto. Maybe I didn't read the, the ND, MPP manifesto, but I, I don't remember it ever being discussed as something in their manifesto. I also don't remember being asked as a Ghanaian as to whether uh, building a cathedral at this particular moment or at that particular moment was a priority I don't remember that either. So I, I do remember, though, that when we wanted to, um, when they, they, they wanted to build the cathedral and money was not coming, that mm. was when they started asking for donations and everybody was going around cup in hand looking for donations. Up till date, we do not know how much was collected from the trips that we made abroad to collect monies for this cathedral. We do not know. But we do know that as a people, we committed 58 million hard currency dollars to this swimming pool that we now have. Um, as to what we're going to do with it, I think that um, we should be asking the president, if all the allegations we're hearing of how much money has been looted from this country is anything to go by, this is the right time for them to use that money to build that cathedral. Because I think God is really angry with them. 
for the mess that we've put. God is angry. Of. Oh, yes, God is very angry. Else we will not be having this kind of galamse water, you know. We, we, we will not be having all the things, all the terrible things that have been happening to this country. It could not just be for nothing because you cannot go promising almighty God something and not delivering. Why? You can promise us uh, uh, one district, one dam. If we don't deliver, that's us for humans to say it's okay. But you don't go promising a God. You don't do that. And then at the end of it, you've made enough money to be able to build that cathedral. I think so. I think they've made enough money, them and their cronies. They've made enough money to be able to build that cathedral. So they should go ahead and build it. Because if we are asking for private sector, private sector, who are they? Them. Because for the rest of us, we don't have that kind of money. So they should go out there and build the cathedral. Uh, uh, Louisa, at the end of the day, if the initial intention, we're told, is supposed to create a certain hub for um, kind of tourism, church tourism. Uh, we're, we're even supposed to have some relics from Israel based on their ancient ruins and what they use for touristic purposes and divine trips uh, to be part of this cathedral. So somebody will say that the intent was good. Can so, I ask you just a question? Yes, please. Have you been to Israel? No, not myself. Would I've you seen... like to count the number? Oh, I've been to Israel. Okay. I, I don't think there are that many churches in a cathedral in Israel. No, they, they are. Which is they, supposed... they, they practice Judaism. Exactly. So okay. Even the Israel that you went and brought the stone from, they practice Judaism. You understand? You went and brought us a whole stone. One, you chartered an aircraft, waste of public funds, and brought a stone to come and lay a foundation. That Israel that you are, you are shouting about, are they Christians there? How many Christians are in Israel? It's Do they a, know? It's a pilgrimage that all Christians around the world tend to take. I, I think that, that's the, you, you go and hold the wailing wall, etc. But at the end of the day, um, he went the, the, there was an promise. intent, a purpose, and a rationale for it. Somebody will argue, say that, well, we have to go through the purpose and the intent for it. Um, Papa Ro, the intent for the National Cathedral has always been simple and a clear cut. Somebody dreamt in his room he wants to be president, spoke to his God on his knee, and his God answered him. So if this morning he can scam his God and will not be able to deliver on his promise to God, who am I? And then, of course, at the end of the day, they make the whole thing a justification by saying God sleeps. But this morning, I'd want to remind the NPP that the goal that we serve as a people, the 71.3% that's Laura to refer to who are Christians, our God never sleeps nor slumber. Now, this is the big deal. If it's supposed to be a private venture, at what point did it become a public policy? At what point did government start financing it? Going by what Laura too said, government was supposed to give a land and a seed fund. What government gave for the National Cathedral was not a land. He gave a developed environment. There were bungalows for judges. There were some embassies there. So government didn't give a land. Government gave a developed area that they demolished, plunged the state into another depth. Now this is where the big deal is for me. When Bishop Darkwood Mills wrote that letter, to disassociate himself from the board of trustees. One thing stands out for me. He said, they spent a huge amount of money to go and raise funds. And what they spent was more than the funds they raised. When they came back to the country, they raised 794,000. They used 790,000 for a symposium, drinking tea and bread at Kempinski. We were left with 4,000 Ghana cities. So what is that 4,000? It was 4, a fundraiser. What is that 4,000? A fundraiser for what, Papa Rio? For the National Cathedral. For the National Cathedral. Yes. So you raise the funds, you come back and spend it on tea and biscuits, and we are left with 4,000 Ghana cities. What is that supposed to do at the site? That notwithstanding, we went through it. We, you were called to Parliament to give us an answer. Why you plunge public funds into that? And I would want to make this simple for all of us. If we are going into a public policy, there are some key things every government who has empathy for the people should look at. Like what? The first thing is, what problem is that edifice supposed to solve as a people? The second issue is the timeliness. Is it urgent we have that as a people? Is it time bound that we don't get it, the people are going to die? 
And the third, that is the topmost on that priority of the things to look out, to, uh, out for when you are getting a public policy done is the resources. Do you have the human resource and the financial resource to implement that policy? Let us do all that fact check. It wasn't done. And then now this is where it lies. President Ekufuado wants to build a cathedral just because in the Bible, King Solomon built a cathedral. But one thing we are <coughs> failing to adhere to is that King Solomon never set out to ask for money from God for a cathedral. He asked for wisdom. And the wisdom we are failing to get as a people from President Ekufuado and his praise singing followers is that as we speak now in an island community at a farm plains north, School children are in the house. They cannot go to school because there are no learning materials. There are no teachers. As we speak now, Bosanko Old Town in the Hafu region, a pregnant woman who was in labor died with the child because there is no health facility and the roads were deplorable that they could not get to the neighboring town for them to rescue the pregnant woman and the unborn child. And at this critical point, the wisdom is that we do well, Louisa, not... I don't know whether you've gone, go, go, gotten onto the platform. That's uh, the main portal for the National Cathedral Secretariat. And the president's vision for having this project in place, which ultimately will be a touristic um, purpose, is well outlined. And I'll just um, t t take from the second paragraph. It says, as a deeply religious nation, the cathedral provides a historic opportunity to put God at the center of our nation's affairs and serves as a symbol of our eternal and continuing gratitude to him. So uh -huh. if you want to serve all spheres of the religious demography that we have, the Muslims have a, a, a national mosque just behind us or ahead of us, and then a cathedral. Somebody will say that it's not untoward. Papa, we made a statement. He wants to serve all the religious interests of the people. Is he building a national shrine? It's, it's a worship. They are traditionalists. So if he wants to serve everybody's interest, is he building a national shrine? And the other part of your opening statement, the, the message that you just read, he wants to put God at the center. When President Ekufuado was not president, God was not at the center in Ghana. One thing we should know, God as the supreme being he is, is against the wicked who oppress people who are poor for his personal gains exploit poor people just for the glorification of a human being. The Bible says he is a God who does not share his glory with a human being. So if President Ekufadi sought to share glory, must it be from the taxpayers' money? This morning, I have elaborated the issues with putting forth a public policy. One question I would want to ask, what is the justification for the National Cathedral and what problem did this seek to solve in the daily lives of the ordinary Ghanaian? Mm. If the project had been fully completed, uh, perhaps the objectives then would have been realized. Now that we have sunk this <laughs> in, somebody will say that it's too late in the day to say that we want to just divert the state of the project and use it for something else. Rather, we have to see it's fully completed. Oh, my dear. At the center of it all, at the center of it all, is God that we see at the center of it all. And God said in the Bible, Jesus said, my father's house will be called a house of prayer, not a den of robbers. Yeah, the National Cathedral will be a house of prayer. He said tourism. Have you looked at the 3D, he said, he said 3D drawing? He said tourism. That is key. But right now it's turned into a den of robbers. Where is the money? <coughs> Where is the money? This cathedral, may I believe in a national cathedral. I am a Christian through and through. I will qualify it. I am a born again Christian. And there is no way anybody would say that building a national cathedral is bad. But what have they done? Roland, it is so sad. You see, these people are just shameless. Namadu is totally wicked. For him to come and say oh, that wow. a, a dying, please, please, please. Me, when it comes to the things of God, I'm very passionate. What did he do? It, just because he, How can he, you he say, wanted a house oh, of God built. But where, but where is it? Where, so he hasn't seen what is there. He hasn't seen these videos. Then he's not looking. 
That is not in this country. Did you country. go and see the place for yourself? I was there myself. Then he doesn't care. How can you ever treat God like this? I which, am which is how? Like this? You say you build God's... You see, when David wants to build God's house, and he started, God told him that you have blood on your hands. You cannot build my house. Your son Solomon is going to build my house. God gave wisdom to Solomon and added money, showed him how to get money to build the cathedral that God wanted, the synagogue, God's house. That holds the Ark of the Covenant, the presence of God. Solomon built that temple. This is the temple. Yeah, just watch the This television. is not the temple. This is a drawing of the temple. We want to see the actual temple. There's nothing wrong. You see, this temple could have been built with $10 million. $10 million. There are, there are, look at the Action Cathedral. There's so many cathedrals. There's so many cathedrals. Uh, 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 all of them. So we couldn't have, and those, me, I am a Christian. I go to Calvary Baptist Church. We have built, she, she come and see our temple there. We used money from the church to build. We have built no, no, other churches. This is a multi-purpose. Just look at the. If I am saying, where, where, have, you, have you seen the drawing? I don't need drawing. All these years, you have spent $58 million. $58 million that you want to build a house for God, Jehovah himself, the almighty one, the king of kings. His name is Yahweh. And this is what you have done for him. You don't respect anybody. You don't respect God. You don't respect human beings. Which group of people don't respect human beings and they don't respect God? How can you ever do this? In your wildest dreams, apart from the pool, the place looks bizarre. When you went there? Yes. I mean, I was just mortified. I just couldn't. I didn't even know where I was standing. I said, what is this? What is this? You see, His Excellency Baumia, if he doesn't take steps to finish this thing before elections, he should forget. <laughs> Nobody's going to finish it. I'm saying that if he cannot, because you cannot scam God like this, to the extent that you have even chopped the money of a religious leader, <laughs> chief imam, his money is in it. A religious leader, you have chopped his money. I mean, I, 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 Papa, I don't understand this. I do, and me, my, my problem is the pastors who are supporting uh, uh, MPP. You are past. No, no seriously, Lara, to don't bring this. There are some with double identity on it. Yes, Lara, to don't bring this one because this is God. Look, me, I'm not putting politics into this. But in the constitution, the freedom of association. So we have. Uh, if you are a past, if you are a pastor, you are a Christian. And so. Yes. So if you are a pastor. You should, you should, you should, this, this should be a mark for you that the, the people you are following are not for God. Because the Bible says that you should not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Because if you are a believer and you believe in God, you will not do what has happened. 58 million cannot build a cathedral. What did they use the money for? I am telling you that 10 million dollars can build a cathedral. If you are serious and you don't have any bad intent, and you don't want to just, uh, uh, I mean, treat God anyhow. You see, anybody who treated God anyhow, both in the Quran and the Bible, had their, their reward. God will recompense. He says, vengeance is mine, thou sayest the Lord. Thou shalt not suffer the name of thy Lord God in vain. And this thing shows that the name of our Lord has been suffered in vain. For me, anything, anybody who disrespects God, I will never take it. This is a total disrespect for Jehovah and for the Christian community in this country. I am telling you, yes, Galatians, uh, don't do a, don't do me a cry. You don't know understand. No, you just, do, I'm just at you a don't. You, you you will not be. You you can't be at a loss. Uh, you be too you, emotional about. I am not being lot. emotional. Why? I, I am saying that these people are just scammers. You can scam us. You can scam God. I'm confused here. Okay. This is habitation of God, a place where God will be worshipped. You see, Papa, when we go to church eh, and we contribute money for something to be done in church, mm. and the church authorities don't do what they took the money for, we become angry. How much more that a government using our taxpayers, taxpayers' money, telling us that they are going to build a cathedral for the nation? To put God in the center, and I believe that is why they even broke down those houses to put God in the center of the nation, Accra, the city, 
for me, I always thought that let's take it to somewhere to Pram Pram, where would it will open up the place for people to go there. They have put it in the center. At the center of it all, it is God that we see. And we all know that he is Jehovah. And if you want to do something for God, God rewards you. So you cannot say I'm being emotional about this. Even if I'm emotional about this, I am happy because it is God and I stand for God. And every time, every day, I stand for God and Jesus Christ and nothing can change that. I am a Christian. I am not ashamed to say that I am a Christian because God is God. And if you do this to God and you sit down, you want to come back and rule this nation because you use the name of God that the battle is the Lord's. That the battle you are going in 2016 is the Lord. Yeah. And today, shamelessly, you have done this. You don't even regard the God. I'm surprised at you because the, yes. the cathedral will be situated at nine acres of newly please. landscaped gardens, which already please, which we is, have the sites there. My dear, please. To the Osu Cemetery. We're going to have a 5,000 seater. Which one? Which, which cat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, I said what? Which, which church here? My, my is dear, five, where is it? Which church here? Our action is more 10,000. The Mickey Mouse Chapel, Chapel ah, International. What are you talking about? We have, we have there will even be a garden. That will be a semblance Kodesh. of the Garden of Eden. Kodesh is over 10,000. I'm surprised you are a Christian who, who I am talking saying, this way. How am I talking? I am saying that where is this thing that you are talking about? I am not It's in the drawing. Uh, but where is the, the drawing? That is where the point is. Where is, the, where is the cathedral? Me, a Christian, I am talking like this because my God has been disrespected. My Jehovah that I worship L L and L I respect has been disrespected. Yes, Papa. Um, within the corridors of government, now that the campaign has reached a, a high tempo, a crescendo, uh, we know the position of Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia, who says that there's going to be a collective resolve yes. to get everybody Between on board the within the Christian and, uh, and all that. It looks like now we've come to the baseline where apart from the initial sum and then the land, now mm. the church has to take this. Yes. Onwardly, then, are we going to revise the, the amounts, the plans, etc., knowing that this is where we are? Currently, we have debt restructuring, DDEP, people are suffering. Mm. Michael Blankson just um, posted two days ago about his own investment, etc. So uh, is, are there plans to take a relook at this? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm confused with what, when Anaya started, she was emphatic that she believes in getting a cathedral for the nation. Mm. So that was why I said that, in the beginning I said that, we, the principle of having that is something that they all accept. I haven't seen or heard any of them who is against that principle. We may have issues. But I want to look at what it's like. No, it's Nana, not, can I, I, I beg you. I beg you. Can I talk? Your, your, your turn will come. No, 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 please. Relax, look relax. Your turn will come. Nani, your turn will come. Relax. Here. I won't come and sit here. What kind of life is this? She, she, I won't please, come and she, she's sit entitled here. to the Listen, view. And, and I won't come and sit here and raise my BP because some unscrupulous individuals decided to break into a site and go and Who and who are the unscrupulous? Who are meant allegedly? Who still equipment? And raise and raise my BP. Raise another you please. Another. I will come and sit here this morning and raise my BP because so they stole equipment when this. That is what is alleged. Which equipment? I was there. I'll show you the statement. I'll show you the statement. But let's go to the issue. Wait, wait, please. No, no. My time on. Nanea and all of us, please, let me establish here that yes. everybody's entitled to their opinion. Loratu is on the floor and Loratu, you're entitled. Please go yes. ahead. Yes, Papa Ro, that's what I'm saying, that I want to deal with the issue. Please, please you are And I'm entitled. going go back ahead. to what Nanaya has said. She said, in principle, she agrees to yes, have do. a national cathedral. Exactly. So I, I will come and sit Laura, here um, Nanea, and major in the minors. Let's talk about the issue. Like I said, I haven't had any Christian leader correct me if I'm wrong. Or, yeah, I mean, people will say, oh, it's not a priority and all that. But the principle of having an interdenominational cathedral is something they all accept. Things may not have gone as they are. Because even with the uh, price, initially, it was, um, I think, $100 million or so. But now, it's gone to about, I think, about 250 or so. I need to check with the secretariat because of other attending issues and all that. Right. So that is something that has to be done. 
2019, like I said, it was stated that government was going to support with land. And that is it. There's a land there cordoned off for the project. 2024, there was some money allocated to it because of the delay. And Parliament representing all of us went against it. And that money was reallocated to other priority areas. Now, what is the way forward? The land is there. Some work has been done. What is the way forward to making sure that this has to be done? And I also told you that as we speak, there's a team led by uh, Dr. Joyce Sai, who is a member of the uh, Board of Trustees, going around trying to get people to come in and support, which is uh, the major part of where the funding would have been come I mean, from anyway. From all the letters that I have cited of uh, revered men of God, pulling out of the board of trustees. I don't think any of them stated in their letter that they were against the project. It was a matter of managerial approach and approach to fundraising and all that. I don't think any of them in their letter stated that they are against that, putting up that edifice. Right, so now what is the way forward? Dr. Bahamia met the uh, clergy. I mean, let's assume without admitting that 58 million has been spent on it. Are we going to let that 58 million that we've all contributed in that sense of it go down the drain? I don't think so. So the church, there has to be a broader consensus. The church, private sector, everybody who believes that something like this should be there, contribute to it so that government doesn't come in, it's the people and the uh, facilitated by uh, the board, private sector individuals. And I believe that individuals, uh, and that is why I made an example with the national mosque. It was a uh, Muslim businessman, uh, Turkey, and it was even built on the Blue Mosque. I have been to the Blue Mosque before, so when I see it, I can relate to it. Who did it? And it's also a way of uh, enhancing the friendship between Ghana and the Turkish government. And when it was being handed over, the president of Turkey then came and was part of it. If we so the Turkish government built it for us free? By Africa, but the, who gave us the land? The land was given by who? Okay, was so, so we government? donated land. Government. You remember that the mosque was demolished at, to build a, a, so we donated a, a land. land was a, and President Rollins gave that land to Chief Imam in 1995. Oh, and that was, the, that was the land that was given for the building of the thing. Do we agree that it's something that we need? If it's not something that we need, why not? Let's, let's, let it go down. But the way forward is us coming together. Laura, to, and yes, you've Papa seen Ro. the state yes. as ah, it is. Yes. If, Papa Ro, if, you were in a position, is if you were in a position if beyond where higher house up. And there's a foundation so there. when, a foundation. when it rains, water won't gather in okay. it. So no, 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 no. Water if, won't if gather you, in if it. If you take a look at, forget about the water. If exactly. you take a look at it currently, look and, we, and, we, and we have sunk $58 million. million. Dollars. Papa Ro, how, I need, how like I said, I need to go dollars. into the details of it and know that this, this, this. this you know, you know foundation actually costs more than the superstructure. Especially when you are building a, an edifice of, of that. You can ask engineers and all that. We may have issues with the approach. We may have issues. In, but what prevents right. us from Orderly. doing an audit mm. on it okay. and making sure that right. the money that was spent has been spent and spent okay. for things that it was supposed to be used for? Marayana, so Rodalyn, what then do we do? What's the decision point now? 58 million already sunk. Now we have to go to private sector. They are not making headway with this. Is the latest that Duncan Williams says, and he just said it on the 28th of August. Says, um, one of the reasons I left is I believe if I am in a place and I can't make a difference, then it is better I live quietly. I don't want to become an enemy. I don't like fighting people. So it means that even the leadership of the administration of the cathedral in executing it itself is not a good place he thinks it should be. So he made a decision. If such men of God are even make, making such decision, what should be the decision now? Now that we have at least uh, spent $58 million and we can do something done Lola, better. Roland, I don't know. The $58 million, how much of it went into emoluments for the architect? How much? How much? 
113. That is different from what is spent on the... She no. should get the details. No, I just I just wanted to... to, to no, please ask your questions. Yes, yeah, so I was just asking. I've just been please giving I, an answer. That's 113 call. million yeah. 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 Has, so been, answer here. has yeah. been paid to the architect. So 113 million paid to the architect for the foundation. That's what we've got. And the drawings, drawings, I guess. Yeah, yeah. The drawings, okay. yeah. the drawings. And the drawings. So it means that a lot of money has already gone. It's not just yeah. 58 million. A lot more a lot has more. gone in. Yeah. So if we are going to tackle this issue um, for the alliance, we also believe that it must be done by the private sector. <coughs> and being done by the public, uh, private sector means that, one, we will have to investigate. There must be an audit of everything that has been spent um, on this project. And then after that audit, we will know how much will be needed probably to complete it and if it has to be downsized or not. Those are things that we must look at. And having the private sector come in, I don't think it's too late for, for the president to start looking for the money again. I mean, he should come out and tell us. How from where? From, from, from the private sector that he claims will, 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 will do it. You understand? Because we only have um, two months to go, and if we can still sit down and think of um, creating new districts, I think that this is not something that we cannot do. We should be able to find the people now. Start the fundraising now, before you even leave, now, so that um, we will know how much we will get out of the fundraising that you will have. And then we'll also know who and who are interested in taking up this project. Because we just can't say private sector. You understand? Are they going to come from the diaspora? Are they going to be Ghanaians who are resident in Ghana? Are there going to be other uh, 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 people coming from other places wanting to help? We, we need to know. But spending this kind of money and just seeing this kind of a pool is very disheartening. Because at the, the least that we could have done was to downsize it. Then maybe like cut your coat according to your size, and then we would have been able maybe to get it done. But at this position, where we, we don't, we are so debt ridden to the extent that there's so much unemployment, we cannot even see through our own selves, how to look after ourselves. And we want to put so much pressure on ordinary Ghanaians. Because when you talk about um, churches even collecting co uh, uh, collections, it's all part of it. It's a pressure on every individual to contribute to building a, a cathedral where we have so many other cathedrals in this country. We have so many cathedrals. And, and therefore, I think that right now, we need the first thing to be done is for an audit to be done, for us to know exactly how much. Mm. Because this 58 is not the right figure. We need to know how much exactly we have spent on it. And then from there, we'll, we'll move on. What's the position from you? President, what should we do with this? President George Ravani Mahama says that with the operation recover all the loot policy operation what recover, recover all, the, all loot. the loot policy we are going to do a forensic audit of the monies that have been spent on the project so far and trust you me whoever have taken any amount of money for no work done would be forced to refund the monies and whatever punishment due them will be given them when we are done recovering we would have the stakeholders engagement to decide per the tenet I gave out for how mm. a public policy is supposed to be done. We are going to look out for what is best in the interest of Ghana to get that site moving and something proper that would actually serve the interest of the nation so no more and not that of an there. individual. I'm not saying no more. But what it is is that proper thinking did not go into that policy. So we are going to run it through the policy process and make sure that what will be there after that forensic audit will be something Ghanaians can be proud of. And Papa Rue, I would want to say this. If we want to find unscrupulous individuals in this nation, unscrupulous individuals are the people who spent $58 million on a dugout left the place unguarded, left iron rust to rust yes. on site, and left that place open to breed mosquitoes and reptiles in this nation. Unscrupulous individuals are the people who spend millions of dollars to a family and friends for the repairs of an ambulance. 
that we are even using the National Ambulance Service to repair. So this money, Papa Ro, the vision of the NDC is simple. Under President John Dramani Mahama, trust you me, every single Pesua that has gone into that project will be accounted for. Papa Ro, what should we do with this? Look, 71% of Christians I'm speaking to you this morning. This is the time for you to vote out this government because they don't even care about God. Do you get me? 7 December 2024, our God, who is a consuming fire, is going to manifest himself. Consuming what? Fire will manifest himself. What we should do? I agree with Auntie Rodalyn if she says that there should be an audit. And after the audit is done, we are going to ask this government, we are not going to wait, should ask this government to refund the money. When they refund the money, they should give it to the Christian community to build the cathedral. And after they have built, whatever is left will be given back to government. Or it will be given to do something else. Which private sector person will put their money in such a scam? <laughs> Why are we disgracing God like this? Now God has become a pittance. Jehovah himself, the creator of the universe, the one who gives riches, the one who is glorious, and now has become disgraceful, begging for money to build his cathedral, the one who gives wealth. Now his cathedral, we have to beg for money to build his cathedral. They are not the right people, they are tainted. And when you are tainted, you don't touch anything that is of God. So they should just let go refund whatever they have used give it to the christian council and we the christian 71 percent we will build a national cathedral for god even if they leave it to us if they refund the money and we use the money for ghana we the 71 percent can build the cathedral for god they should take their hands off so you're saying that there has to be adequate forensic adequate audits. forensic audit or, or value for money audit Forensic audit, every little penny we want to see what they use the money for. And they should refund it. We need the money back. Me, I don't believe in this. We, are, we need that money back. It is for us. It is taxpayers' money. And I'm saying it, I retreated the 71% Christians. I am telling you today that the MPP government, they do not believe in our God. They are not for us. Don't vote for them. If you are a Christian, have you have you seen the have you gone to the website to look at the intent? I don't care about. There's supposed to be a garden please, that is going to be a semblance of it is not the Garden of Eden. Do you know the Garden of Eden? Please, <laughs> intent that can. Do you know be, the Garden of Eden? Uh, intent that cannot be actualized. Intent that has not come to fruition for over over two to three years. It has not come to fruition. Intent. We are not talking about intent. When you are dealing with God, you give a promise to God. You see, granted that he even gave a promise to God and become national. And you have voted money to it. And it is nowhere. This is what you, 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 this is an example of what God's habitation will be. You have left this for God to, to, to habit this place. You want God to inhabit this place, Jehovah himself. If it's completed, the completed one will be the one that, that you are seeing there. I it is not completed. How many years? <laughs> I said the completed one. But Just I look at it. Ania, yeah, look at they it. Have, uh, they it's have not completed. million and they have not completed it. All right. Why? Because they don't care. They disrespect God. They, do, they, they, they don't care about God. I don't know what they worship. But I am saying that the consuming fire will know. manifest himself mm -hmm. on the 7th of December All based right. on this. That what they have done to disgrace his name. What do you say? Why do you say disgrace? Wait, but, well, How can this be a habit? Because they don't care. If it was their own house, would they leave it like this? Where are they living? What kind of houses are they living in? If it is their own habitation, would they leave it like this? I am asking you. Roland, would they leave it like this? Their own habitation. You think that, it, can this happen anywhere? Then the Christian community is quiet. Pastors are quiet. They are following Baumia. They don't care about the God that they worship. How many ordinary Ghanaians are going to go to this place? I wonder. Laura, too. So, Laura. Uh, finally on this, um, what should we be expecting by way of the fundraising since now the...
position is that we have to go to a private sector. When is it going to start? Which private sector person will put their investment into this? Okay. Please go. Don't deny me. Don't deny me. In one breath, some Christians are following Dr. Baumia. In another breath. Christian shouldn't vote for MPP. Of course. In another breath, let's take the money and give it to Christian. That is the point. By the same thing I'm talking about. It adds up. It adds up. It adds up. It adds up. If you don't right my question. you can't see the Ghanaians, whether Christians, whether Muslims, whether traditionalists, whatever religious persuasions, the ordinary Ghanaian voter knows they are left from their rights. They know the sincerity this government has. Yeah, we may have had our Jesus own challenges. Glad we have, insult us. We had our no, own challenges. You have Glad to which we have, insult we have, we have my, my question. You my, have sincerity no, 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 to no, 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 Christians. No, 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 we have no, 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 been no, 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 admitted. I'm talking it, about Ghanaians. Don't make this it, a religious conversation. It is a religious conversation we are having. It's a religious conversation. I asked a simple question. So You talked about people voting. That has nothing to do with it. When are we going to have the fundraising starting since the overture has now been made directly to pastors? Now you are making me sound like a... A broken record. I okay. told you that as it stands now, that's Papa, a team. Look, let me, oh, let me, Nanaya, let me what have is a correct this? Yeah, no. No, no, no. What no, is no, this? No, Nanaya, no, 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 what is this? What this is what? Morning? But what, what you are saying is not right. I disagree with what you say. But I disagree with what I say. I disagree with you. I totally disagree with you. No, it's okay. It's okay. I totally disagree with you. She's entitled to the view. And that's my right. That's her right. So please, please leave me to make my point. So please. I told you, I've said this will be the <laughs> third or fourth time I'm repeating this, that from the National Cathedral uh, Secretariat mm. side, there's a team led by Dr. Okay. Joyce Ayi, uh, uh, raising, trying to engage people to raise. But so until they are done, mm. you won't be too sure. And definitely, they All won't right. go raising funds uh, okay. in the vacuum. Okay. Um, uh, during during the, the meeting of organized labor, yes with government they said despite the introduction or the setting up of an inter-ministerial committee on mining again mm. uh, if by september 30 nothing is done by way of what their position should be a state mm. of emergency should be declared or a way forward should be outlined they are going to go to the next level all right don't, don't think it will help all of us if you give us the details of the statement. all the statements yes. all right so certainly let me just um, look at first so basically um, what they are saying is very instrumental, and basically I'll just uh, read from the statement, and it's uh, very, okay, so I've gotten it now. And while the government team accepted these proposals from organized labor, it requested for additional time to engage other stakeholders. Now, then they go to the last but one paragraph. We want to reiterate that our initial demands remain unchanged, and the timelines for action have not been varied, and that if by the end of September a favorable response is not forthcoming or received, our intended actions will be rolled out. And the intended action was that they were going to go on a full scale strike. So, the meeting, I mean, organized labor put out uh, consents. His Excellency, the President, heeded to it and set up an ad hoc committee. I think made up of uh, a five-member ad hoc committee. I think National Security Minister, uh, Lands and Natural Resources, Labor Minister, Information Minister, I've uh, forgotten the fifth, uh, Defense Minister. And they had a meeting. And from what I, I'm here to engage our side on what they are about, from what organized labor said, government accepted, but... Um, requested for time to meet stakeholders because all that they are um, requesting for, even with the revocation of the law, it has to um, have some uh, higher level conversation. The ad hoc committee definitely needs to report back to the president who set them up. I mean, they are, that's what the organized labor is insisting on. And for even the meeting to come up for a meeting to say that that is government uh, to even listening, be convened. Listen, okay. listening and uh, putting measures in place to make sure that this doesn't become um, 
uh, something that we can't all do. It's a collective effort. Organized labor has shown its concerns, being the leadership of labor uh, in this country. And uh, those are the steps that have to be taken because TUC is not the only stakeholder within uh, TUC the is the umbrella body. Yes, but I mean, it comes with other people in it. Even within stakeholder, they are uh, TUC, the other small, small uh, labor groups under it. So that's what, uh, but I'm here to uh, get a briefing on what actually the way forward based on this meeting, because they released a statement late last night. Mm -hmm. uh, late yep. last night. They so released uh, a this statement morning, I, mean, yes. I got up to come here at 7 a.m. So after this, I'm sure more information will All come right. out. Uh, uh, Auntie Roger, Roger Linayana, at the end of the day, it looks like government has met organized labor halfway. But knowing the posture of organized labor and what they <coughs> exhibited this year, over the SNIT issue, they went on a full strike. Yeah. For which, uh, for the first time, we had SNIT working on a 24-hour <laughs> period to respond to them. I, th I believe it was after midnight or so. It, do you think, even with the setting up of the Interim Ministerial Committee, organized labor should accept that as a fact and so rescind their decision for any action by September 30? Um, I think organized labor has given them a timeline. Yes. Um, for the ad hoc committee that is to meet to drink tea. Uh, so, because at the end of the day, one would ask, what happened to all those reports that we've had? The Frimpombuatin reports, um, the ones that were coming out from Erasmus Donko. There's so many reports that we've had. What did government do? Complaints lodged to the CID consistently over time. There's so many things. Erasmus has said that over time. Over Something time. Like and, and we've not heard anything. So if I say that the at all committee is going to drink tea, that's exactly what they're going to do because the work has already been done, placed in front of uh, 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 governance, and we've heard nothing. Um, look, this thing about Galamse is not something that we should be fooling around with. If you look at um, the next generation of children, that are going to be born in those areas. And in fact, it's affecting some children now. Um, the Medical Association has complained of children being born with um, defects, you know, limbless children, children no eyes, with def all, all manner of um, body defects. It's a serious thing, and we must be serious about it. I don't think that we should waste too much time on committees and, and whatnot. We've got enough information to be able to take some form of... So uh, ideally, what should have been happening instead of setting up So a ideally, by now, we should have been banning it and, and getting in there to get people out. And we should have been, at this time, collecting a whole data of other people who have joined up in this whole thing. And if possible, you know, I don't know, but I don't know why, why we should be entertaining the lands minister and the forestry commissioners and all, all those people by now should, should be answering so many questions, you know. So I think that um, the uh, TUC has a point and um, even giving them to government two weeks is too much. They should have given them some 48 hours to come out with some, some form of a release, you know, so that we will know where exactly we are heading. Two minutes for you on this. My question is, who is President Ekofuado and Alaji Baumia trying to deceive with another committee? The key word interministerial, we have had it before. And that interministerial committee they put up to banter Galamse, it brought forth, it gave birth to Galamse campaigns. There is a document that points out to the fact the key people who are leading the charge for Galamse. It produced Charles Bissu, it produced the Mesa guy. And then at the end of the day, when we said that we are not supposed to mine <laughs> our forest reserves, the president who put his presidency on the line to fight mm. Galamse actually have amended that clause and given an ally that says that people can now go into the forest to mine. And who was the first person to go there mining? Akonta Mining. Who is the owner of Akonta Mining? Chairman Moon to me. Who is Chairman Moon to me? The regional chairman for the MPP in the Shanti region. So this morning, we are just here trying to do Crocro de John. Just three months to elections. Crocro de what? Crocro de John. Trying to do three months to elections. They are trying to do some gimmicks just to make Ghanaians feel like they are doing something. Nothing. The truth of the matter is that this is just an extension of the party in Yesika Saga. It is three months to the election. That is what it is. <laughs> For me, committees are of no importance at this critical point in time. The critical things that are supposed to be done, 
first of ban the mining in the forest reserves because most of our water bodies have their sources from there. Last week I was in the western region and if you see the color of the water that is joining the sea at Shama, you will marvel. I bought maize there and then I, I, I couldn't even chew it at the end of the day because <laughs> I was scared I may be consuming mercury or cyanide. That is the current state we are in. So if a president wants to be pragmatic, backed by a vice president who wants to be a president, and in all of this, they cannot give us any bold solutions now, then he is waiting to say no, that no. what? You committee see? is in place. The committee is in place. TUC, organized labor, they've met government. They said they give us 30. See, so before, before I continue, I want to say something that uh, if I say that the people who are following Baumi as Christians, it is not because he's a Muslim. Nobody should get me wrong. Because he's part of the team that has supervised this mess. Because he is a vice president. Do you get me? The building of the cathedral. He's a vice president and he's part of it. Nobody should misconstrue that. Okay. Decision making. Yes, yes. And do, leadership. Do, yes, leadership. Okay. Because he is part of this. Number two, of all these things they are talking about, they set up a ministerial committee. Are they telling us that my uncle Kandapa is not aware of what is going on? Does he need to talk to anybody? He's the national security minister. He's aware. And they are not committed to it because they are telling us that they lost seats in the mining areas in 2020. And they will not do anything till after the elections. So these three months, what are they going to do? They are just, uh, I mean, covering our eyes. You're saying your committee is not appropriate. As they are not doing anything. We should have had a national emergency declared? Yes. If they were really, they should have banned me. I'm saying that ban all mining activities. Let's interrogate contracts. Let's make sure that things are done right. Let's make sure that concessions that are given are, are not invaded by Galant. What are we going to do? If it is this gold catcher they are talking about, which is a good idea, why not bring in it, the gold catchers now <laughs> for us to, uh, I mean, try and find a place where the gold is instead of, I mean, uh, degrade, destroying our environment, degrading our environment. I don't think they are committed, <laughs> not at all, not even like this, like a master seed. They are not even committed like a master seed. So there's no point. What can they do? They don't have any... Because for them to go back to set up an, an interministerial committee, it is clearly telling us that we are not doing anything. We don't intend to do anything. We don't intend to stop Galamse. And that is what they are telling us. Do you get me? That is what they are telling us. So you think by 30, if, not, if the, the committee is still in place and no state of emergency declared, they should go on full... Blow strike. Ah. Full blow strike. And ah. Ah. But that will bring but, the nation down. But, what is the, what, what, but now the nation is already down. Do we have a nation? Oh, no, no, yeah. We have a nation that is sitting in yes. a wheelchair at 67 years. The nation is... Life. It's sitting in a wheelchair. Important. Ghana is in a people wheelchair. Are, people are importing Perrier water for themselves. Ah, yes, people are importing water. Whilst we are drinking... Water. Which people? Uh, oh, the, those people. Ah, what yeah, I talk, they, they, they have money to import. They have so they don't care about us. Water. I am telling you, they, they, they don't care about us. Right. Water. So let, yeah, let me done. read a couple of messages. And um, I, I posed this question on our stream this morning, uh, which was uh, what we need to do about the cathedral. So I have a couple of responses already. I have this one from uh, Samira Akea JT. It says, it's a pool party. And then it's a pool on that ground. So we should use it for something else. Uh, then Juma Musa says it should be turned into a hospital, an ultra-modern one. And then uh, Mark Anthony says museum sites. Well, I think that as part of the project, over, we're supposed to have a, a museum. Yeah, it's uh, supposed museum. To have a museum. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mani Nimani says hospital. He says, you will build a cathedral. And for then God. Laura. Um, they didn't have a uh, Nasser yeah, says sure, Loratu is trying to be we smart. Need a she doesn't want to <laughs> answer, answer my question. I think that was at the time yeah. I said you didn't mm. answer my question. So. Oh, okay. Mm. Swimming pool. Okay, so uh, that the exhibit says for now it is just a swimming pool to <laughs> cool our suffering <laughs> and then usher in uh, a children's hospital. I'm not too sure whether we have to build a children's hospital in the middle of our, uh, the city, though. But the we'll center see. of it is God. Me, I believe uh, a cathedral should be built. Okay, so this so one is coming from. Why not? Um, but not in this no, no, it's Wisdom okay. from oh, Ajay I mean, Kudu says. Be um, 
But not Roland, like it looks this. like they are giving oh, you a name this sorry. morning. And then uh, Mike Aflu says, um, Roland, read Ecclesiastes 5 4 to, to the world, please. <laughs> I should read Ecclesiastes 5 4. Uh, uh, okay, so this one is coming from Jerry John, who says, I should greet uh, Loratu. He said today, you're talking is, is not, is not <laughs> talking. Is well. Don't mind them, I think. <laughs> Master Planner Junior King Tampo. <laughs> Nane Ajantua. Roland, let Nane Ajantua know that she's no more Christian than anyone in this country. It does not matter. It does not, if you are listening, it does not matter. If you are more Christian, for me, this is my belief. Lawyer Richmond Roxon says, Roland, like 58 million body, dollars with nothing business. to show, except one big hole. That makes no sense. Remember, $58 million is no chicken change. The issue with the project is the deceit and deliberately misleading Ghanaians. No one has said a cathedral is a bad idea from day one. The major concerns were the location, especially when buildings in prime areas some very new had to be destroyed yeah, using state the funds. The government then said it was investing 25 million Ghana cities as seed money. It had to take Ablakwa and the rest to find out that the state has spent 58 million dollars. Right. All right. So Timothy also said with the National Cathedral site, which cost 58 million. Dollars now turn into a pool. Ghana will surely win a medal in the next Olympics. 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 All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Loreto, thank you very much. You. Madam Rodel and Ayana, good morning to you. Thank you very much for passing through. Remember, we have cash out. It goes with a short code star 439 hash. Please make sure, as always, you're a lo loyal viewer and a great patron of cash out. goes with that short code. So you have to. Make sure that you choose option two and then increase the number of tickets you have as well. And let's have some great conversations thereafter when we have the draws. And uh, we have Dewa Chop Money as well. Step into the world of Dewa 539 for your chance to win big with Dewa Direct and Dewa Chop Money. Now with Dewa Direct, you dial the shot code star 446 hash. You pick the range of the numbers 1 to 39. You get to win big 20 times, 40 times or 400 times your stake, and that is cash you're winning every evening at 7 p.m. and on Sundays at 6 p.m. Now for early bets who love Dewa Chop Money, it's daily at 10 a.m. So you dial again the short code star 446 hash. You choose a range of the numbers. 20 times your stake will be your win, 40 times, 400 times. You can go online. Charlie, you can play it as quickly as possible. So log on to dewa-nla.com or dial star 446 hash and uh, be the player. So, the two of them are playing, you know, nice conversations thereafter. Chrissy Mensah in the US says, Roland, what you are showing is a 3D version. The Bible says, in the Bible, that shall not kill. But Ghanaians we we have been killed. Uh, we're, we're we're done. Done. Oh, I shouldn't read myself. No, okay. read, read we're it. taking a break. <laughs> we'll be right back.